ties into our next segment. But uh, it's the video of Liberal MP Ken McDonald who broke with the party on the carbon tax uh, vote. Um, and it's he, he's representing his constituents, saying they can't afford groceries, they can't afford to, to heat their homes. So finally, we've seen a few instances where liberals, rare, but occasional instances where liberals have broken uh, with the party. This is one of those instances. Um, people like this of conviction, it's very hard to break ranks. The Liberal Party, uh, they whip their MPs good. Uh, so let's listen to his, uh, his message, uh, and, and uh, kudos to him for taking a stand on behalf of his constituents. Uh, everywhere I go, people come up to me and say, you know, we're losing uh, faith in the Liberal Party. Uh, they appreciate the fact that I've stood up now twice uh, to do away with a carbon tax or to ask for it to be delayed. Uh, I said to someone earlier today, I said, I stand with Premier Fury in trying to get not this done away with as such, but get it delayed till we get past this affordability issue. People are finding it very difficult. I've had people tell me they can't afford to buy groceries, uh, they can't afford to heat their homes. And that's hard to hear from especially seniors who live alone and uh, tell me that they go around their house in the spring and winter time with a blanket wrapped around them because they can't afford the home heating fuel and they can't afford to buy beef or chicken. I mean, that's mm. heart wrenching when you hear somebody say that to you. And my purpose and the way I voted was to make sure that their voices are heard. Uh, Stephen yeah. Gilbo obviously is the point person for your government on this. Yeah. I talked to a lot of people who are politically active in Atlantic Canada, and they say he is a problem in the region, that he's too dogmatic on this and a mm -hmm. flashpoint, and he doesn't get the issues of the region. Is he the right messenger for that part of the country on this? No, he's not. And because he's so entrenched in us, and, and, and I get it. I, I mean, where he came from and, and his whole idea of uh, making a big difference in climate change. But you can't do it all overnight. You can't make it more expensive on people than what they can handle. And that's exactly what's happening right now, is the, the government has to put a lens on us, a rural lens, for sake of a better word, and try and come up with a plan that's satisfactory and appealable to people who live in rural. Now, maybe no plan will be appealable to rural, I don't know, mm -hmm. but I think the government has to try. And if they do that, I think they got a chance of uh, moving past it and go on and whatever the polls will be, the polls will be. So that one, I absolutely love the accent, it's the best. Um, and I, I love, he, he says in such plain terms in such a charming accent, uh, what almost all Canadians are thinking. Um, and it is so refreshing. Like, literally, that's what it is. We joked off the top about half a turkey. Um, but that is, that is the very valid concern. It's people are like, people are actually having to make those considerations. Like, we're going to cut back on desserts this year. We'll, we'll, we're just going to do a turkey breast. We can't do a whole turkey. That is the outcome of this government, is everybody across this country suffering. Um, so I, for one... I, it is a harbinger of, of the end for sure. Not just that conservative politicians actually sound conservative and are being supported, but that even the liberal politicians are starting to sound somewhat conservative and rejecting uh, this Trudeau government and what they are doing to this country. Uh, what, what did you make of that, Sid? Well, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. The Liberal Party is cracking in many ways. And, you know, you think about it, nine billion dollars, almost ten billion dollars that we've sent to Ukraine. Right. And, and every single Canadian is going to be paying more for Turkey this Thanksgiving. And how many of them are going to choose not to buy Turkey because they can't afford it now? And yet we're off spending billions of dollars internationally. And you look at all the crises that are building here, it's irreparable damage. I mean, how many of these people, especially the elderly, they're going into the final years of their life life and Justin Trudeau is destroying them. This is absolutely atrocious behavior. And you know, no wonder the Liberal Party is, is crumbling here. It, it's about damn time. Pardon my language. I don't know if you know, that's too harsh, a, 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 whatever for the censors, but uh, it's about time. It's about time because Justin Trudeau has destroyed the word liberal. He has made it meaningless in this country. It, it's an absolute shame. Yeah, it absolutely is. How much fun is that? I can hardly wait. If you like cruising already, well, this is truly something unique. 
And if you've never been on a cruise ship before, this is the perfect way to start with a group of like-minded rebels from coast to coast. You can find out all the details, including the different cabin prices at rebelnewscruise.com. I know you're going to look back on it as the vacation of a lifetime. We've reserved a limited number of Rebel News cabins, so book yours today at rebelnewscruise.com. We'll see you there.